I call this county commission meeting to order. I will ask Commissioner Schaefer to say a prayer, and I'll also ask Deputy Clerk Rick Spence to lead us in the pledge to our flag. You please bow your heads with me and pray to whatever or whomever is your God. Dear Father in heaven, we just come before you to give you all the praise and all the glory that you so richly deserve for the blessings that you've bestowed on each one of us here and for our county and for our country, dear Lord. And we just ask you to be with the 21 of us this coming year and also our commission chairman as we begin a new cycle for Rutherford County's County Commission. We ask you to give us wisdom and to help us to judge correctly as to what is best for our county. We also, we thank you for being with all our servicemen and women, all those that are close to us and dear to us that are Ill, Ill at this time. And we just thank you for the healing through your son, who gave us his Holy Spirit. And we thank you for all these blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. I will proceed with the roll call. Commissioner Schaefer? Here. Commissioner Piercy? Here. Commissioner Jordan? Here. Commissioner P? Here. Commissioner Cook? Here. Commissioner Jernigan? Here. Commissioner Cush? Commissioner Reed? Here. Commissioner Gurley? Here. Commissioner Turner? Here. Commissioner Allen? Here. Commissioner Stevens? Here. Commissioner Johnson? Here. Commissioner Baum? Commissioner Nipper, Here. Commissioner Dodd, Here. Commissioner Phillips, Present. Commissioner McAdoo, Here. Commissioner Kaplan, Here. Commissioner Gooch, Here. Commissioner Sinrino. We have 20 present. At this time, I will open the floor for nominations for the county chairperson. Commissioner Phillips. Uh, well, aye. aye. <laughs> okay, this vote passed by acclamation. And at this point, I now relinquish this meeting over to Mayor Burgess. Okay, thank you, Madam Clerk, and thank you, all of you, again, for your vote of confidence, and uh, we will work diligently to work together for the best interest of our county, and I'm sure we're going to do just that very thing. Okay, the primary thing on our agenda tonight is to elect a steering committee. I'll remind each of you that every person here has an opportunity to nominate one person. And what we're going to do is allow you just to do that. So uh, first we're going to announce that at the next meeting, at, I announced the election. I'm sorry about that. Uh, before we do that steering committee, we have to announce and tell you that you will elect a commission chaplain and a chairman pro tem on September the uh, 11th at your next regular meeting. So that's, that's the first thing you do next uh, commission meeting. And then we will now
proceed with the steering committee election. You each have a, a piece of paper in front of you. Do they each want to have one of those, Rick? Or you can have one. He's going to let you have a piece of paper. But while he's doing that, every one of you has an opportunity to nominate one person uh, for the steering committee. There are seven members on the steering committee. If we only get seven members nominated, then uh, that will be uh, without a vote. That will, we will not have the necessity for actually voting on that. But if there are eight or more nominated, we'll actually have to have a roll call vote. Now you have this piece of paper that's in front of you, and I'd ask you to write the nominations down the column, the first column there that's blank, in the order that they're made, so that when you actually, if we have the necessity for a roll call vote, you'll read off your seven out of the eight or more that may be nominated in the order from which they were nominated, and this will help our clerk uh, sort of keep up with this a little bit easier. Okay, so you all have a uh, sheet of paper in front of you, and we'll just take your nominations in the order of, of those of you that rise to uh, wish to nominate someone for the steering committee, and we'll just start that uh, process. And now, uh, Commissioner Johnson. Mr. Chairman, I nominate Commissioner Trey Gooch. So the first one is Mr. Trey Gooch, and I'm writing that on my piece of paper. Trey Gooch was the first person nominated. Commissioner Gooch. Nominate uh, Commissioner Paul Johnson. Commissioner Paul Johnson is next. Now, Commissioner Jordan. I nominate Commissioner Robert P. Commissioner P. Now, Commissioner Schaefer. I nominate Commissioner Stevens. Commissioner Stevens has been nominated. Now, Commissioner Stevens. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I nominate Brad Turner. Commissioner Turner is next. Now, Commissioner Phillips. Commissioner McAdoo is next. Commissioner McAdoo. Commissioner Jeff Phillips. Is there anyone else that wishes to nominate someone for the steering committee? Schaefer. Mr. Chairman, I move that the uh, nominations be closed and we support the seven by acclamation. We have a second. Well, who was that from? Commissioner Stevens. All right, we have a motion to uh, nominations be uh, ceased and that we nom uh, elect these by acclamation. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on that? All of you in favor of that, then please say aye. aye. Are there any opposed? All right, so that was an easy election this time. Thank you, gentlemen. And we have Mr. Trey Gooch, Mr. Paul Johnson, Mr. Robert P., Mr. Robert Stevens, Mr. Brad Turner, Mr. Alan McAdoo, and Mr. Jeff Phillips. And they may be excused just for a moment to room 205, whereby they will select their chairperson, and then they'll come back and tell us what their normal meeting time and date is. Uh, we'll stay live, gentlemen and ladies, because this won't take but a few moments, so just be patient with us, and we'll let them uh, go in and then come back and report to us.
Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, steering committee has met, and the chairperson is Commissioner Gooch, and the vice chair is Commissioner Turner. They will meet uh, the first Monday of each month at 5.30. Now, I will remind all of you here, uh, I hope you've already filled out your preference forms, and please uh, get those in the hands of Mr. Gooch even before we leave here today, tonight, we must do that because he's going to be working with those and he's going to be preparing some sort of spreadsheet with his recommendations to the steering committee whose first meeting will be uh, September the 9th at 5.30. This will be a, a special meeting prior to our Thursday, September 11th regular meeting. And on September the 11th, based on what recommendations are brought forth and what changes may or may not be made from the floor, you will select all of your other committees that will be serving uh, this commission this next year. Okay, any questions about that? Be sure you get those uh, forms to him so we can have those tonight and work on them between now and a week from tonight, on September the 9th. Okay, we have a Another notice we want to make everyone aware of, uh, Mr. Nipper, who is now sitting with us as a commissioner, has given over his letter of resignation from the school board on August the 28th. And according to uh, our state statute, there's a requirement that this body, the county legislative body, will uh, fill the unexpired term of Mr. Nipper at its next regularly scheduled commission meeting, which is September the 11th. So there, that being the case, we have made a public notice of the resignation of Mr. Nipper uh, that was in the post uh, on the 1st of, of September. And we have instructed anyone that has a desire to be uh, elected or selected by this group here to serve out the remaining term, and his term does expire in August of 2016, so this will be for two years. Uh, they are to make application through the mayor's office on or before September the 9th, so that our steering committee on September the 9th, when they meet, can have these in hand, and they will determine how they dispose of those and whether they send all of them to this body for further review or uh, election at that point with or without a recommendation. That'll be something the steering committee will have to dis uh, discuss and decide. So anybody out there in Rutherford County that wishes to uh, be considered for the unexpired term uh, from the school board of Mr. Nipper. Sir? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you need. So Mr. Nipper, tell me what three districts you represent. Okay, well, thank you for that reminder. But anyway, yes, you have to live in one of those commission districts. So the 13th district is, is Mr. Charlie Baum, the fit, Paul, Johnson. Paul Johnson, excuse me. Mr. Johnson, 13, and then of course, Mr. Nipper's current district. And then the 16th district is um, Mr. Phil Dodd. All right, so have we got that straight now? <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, I just want everyone that lives in either the 13th, 15th, or 16th district to know that they have an opportunity, if they so wish, to submit an application, and the steering committee will review those applications on September the 9th. And then on September the 11th, this body will make a decision on who you choose to uh, fill this unexpired term. Any questions on that? Okay. Um, that's really all that we have here. I want to, there's a request from our OIT person. There's some technical things that each of you new commissioners need to know in particular. So we'd like to have 10 minutes of your new commissioner's time so that, uh, I mean, it's okay for all of you to stay if you want to, Brian, I suppose. But uh, Brian is gonna tell us something about 
uh, our website and something about this voting process for you new commissioners. So this is another just 10 minutes of orientation for you that are new uh, commissioners. So you're welcome to stay and we really need for you to do that. So you'll be well equipped to start on September the 11th making decisions that we'll have to make every week. All right. Now, uh, does anybody else have any other business? Commissioner P. You know, about this time we have our regional meeting and I saw the notice and I didn't look at the places. Have you looked at it? To it's, see going it? To, it's going to be at Henry Horton State Park. And if you'll give me just a moment, we'll see what date that's on. But it's, I want it's, to make it, sure these new guys heard that too. So Yeah. Thank you for that heads up on that. It's on September the 29th at uh, Henry Horton State Park, the Tennessee County Commissioners Association every year have an annual meeting and they discuss things that are pertinent and relevant to most all of our counties. And you do get uh, dinner, free dinner. And I think the uh, dinner is at five o'clock and the meeting's at six o'clock, I believe, September the 29th. So all of you, uh, are welcome to attend and any of you that need to ride or need uh, let me know and we'll make arrangements to to carpool or whatever if you'd like to do that commissioner schaefer yes just like to remind everybody that a week from tomorrow friday september 12th begins old timers day in laverne and it's uh, friday night saturday and into sunday and there's a parade on Saturday, so hopefully, uh, especially commissioners that cover Laverne to show up, and the rest of you are more than invited to come spend your money down in our lovely little city, and we would greatly appreciate it. Anybody else have any other business to come before this body tonight? So please hand those forms in to uh, Commissioner Gooch, and please you that are uh, new commissioners, if you would, please stay with us just a few moments for some orientation. If there's no other business, then we are adjourned. Thank you very much.